welcome to episode 63 of Usequad Legends Series 6 with Burton Albion. We've got a transfer offer here for Eric Malongo. The offer coming in is £180,000. I'm going to counter it at £280,000. The first game of this episode sees Burton Albion play Newcastle United. Does Kadir Ogunjimi start against his former club today? Does he fit straight into the Newcastle United lineup? And Arson gets a run out after his impressive performance in the Community Shield. He replaces Pennington for this game. And Shutterworth is up front. No! He's not even on the substitute bench. Oh, that's a fantastic ball by Shutterworth. Matic's in. Matic misses. There's definitely a different mindset to the teams I'm facing. More defensive. They feel like they're marking tighter as well. It almost feels... Gee... My word, that was a bad foul. Anyway, it almost feels like they sympathise with me in the first season. Rosenberg from 36 yards out. Nearly finds a top corner with the shot. It's a corner kick. It will be Rosenberg who takes the corner kick. It was aimed at Fabian Eichor. There's a big mix-up in the Newcastle defence. But they have somehow got it clear. Might just have to weave in and out of tackles here. There's so many men back. Surely, if these guys are so defensive, we can push people up ourselves. We're going to go ultra-attacking. Oh, that's a great ball by Eichor. It's... Oh, wow. That was a shot by Frank Martin. The park the bus tactic is such a tough one to break down. But here is Frank Matip. Chance. Oh, yes! Gets in, diving header by the Cameroonian. And we have the win. Just about with six minutes to go. There's no free kick take. Oh, the best one is Fabian Eicher at 63. So from 31 yards out, can Fabian Eicher pull a rabbit out the hat? No. Full time and I get the feeling that I'm going to get really annoyed about the defensive style of football used by some of the struggling teams in this league. I don't really know how to pronounce this team, but Vestalo or Westerlo have decided to match the asking price of £280,000 for Eric Malongo. And Eric Malongo is no longer a Burton Albion player. This will be a tasty encounter. It's Arsenal, who I don't think are going to go defensive against Burton Albion at the Emirates. Let's hope that Chesney is not in the form of the European Championships where he was basically unbeatable. First shot is a Rosenberg long one and it could drop to Armand Gui. Nearly did. Brr, Pennington. Brr. Oh, look at Aiko, completely unmarked. This could be the goal for Burton. It's not because fucking Chesney saved it again. Brr. No! Getting forward now, but there are a lot of red men back. It's just Rosenberg skipping past challengers. Rosenberg, you legend! <laughs> Alexander Rosenberg! Can't be offside from a throw in. Here's Alexander Rosenberg. Looked like he was being held back then. Oh, Pennington's been a bit too Pennington there. That is a penalty. I wasn't even controlling the guy. He just decided to, well, Pennington Walcott. Come on, Jonsson. Do yourself a favour, save this penalty. Dumbia has gone straight down the middle. It's 1-0. I'm going to try and get Pennington into the box. Maybe he can redeem himself. Oh, why didn't you go for it, Camparesa? No. Oh, a big moment for Arsenal here, surely. It's Sanchez saved by Jonsson. Yes, Diaz, please. He's still got it. Cut. Whoa. It is a penalty getting. Come on! And guess who's going to take it? Matt Pennington to win the game. Yes! Pennington! Yes, lads. What a good game against Arsenal. Definitely wasn't one-sided. You can see that this season is going to be more competitive. A lot more difficult for Burton Albion to hold on to their league title. Oh my word, the next game is going to be a massacre. The champions of Europe, Bayern Munich against Burton Albion. Well, they call it the Copa Europe, but it is the European Super Cup here. The winners of the Champions League against the winners of the Europa League. 
Oh, oh, look at that team! I have to face that! Wow, okay. Just pointing it out there, I can't imagine Barcelona and Real Madrid have got better teams than that. This is gonna be a riot. Oh, good block by Johansson there, stopping the Costa shot. That's a great cross by Alaba. It's knocked down for Costa, blocked. Costa again, blocked again. Got Matic, destroy. Here is Frank, crosses it in, and it's Daniel Volker. Yes, diamond header by Daniel Volker. That is a sensational finish by the winger. Almost forgot that I've given Shuttleworth his rewards for playing superbly well. Last season, what the hell was that save, Jonsson? Simply can't do that, especially against Bayern Munich. Yet another dodgy episode for the keeper. Half time, and it's on a knife's edge. Bayern Munich have had the best of the chances. But we definitely have a part to play in this final. We open the scoring with a superb goal. Oh, look at that! I didn't touch him. They went over themselves. It's Jamie Moore Taylor. Oh, I couldn't find the pass through. And at the other end, it's Costa, who's chipped Johnson. Too many Burton players got excited when Jamie Moore Taylor picked that ball up. And we've got punished here. Oh, my word, Costa. And it's another goal. Johnson, stick out of fucking hand. Honestly, these last three episodes are the worst I've seen him play. We won't be able to come back from this. No chance. But Rosenberg is going to try anyway. Alexander Rosenberg has hit the post. Of course, you've got to stick with keepers when they're underperforming. But he's really testing my patience at the moment. Simple fact of the matter is we can't get anybody better than him. Full time. And even though we've made huge investments in the summer, there's still a colossal gap between us and Bayern Munich. At points we were unlucky hitting the post from an Alexander Rosenberg effort, but it's fully deserved for Bayern Munich here. They crushed us. We've received a £4.1 million transfer offer for Rhys Abbott. Now, if we can sell him for a high price, it could potentially allow us to buy Sebastian Rex Heppi. The chief executive is saying the maximum is probably £8.6 million. I'm going to count out at 9 They've come back with a bid of £8 million. I am going to try and meet them in the middle here, 8.5. They are still standing at £8 million, and I am going to accept it because it's probably £7 million more than he's actually worth. That was quick. Reese Abbott has gone to Athletic Bilbao for £8 million. Right, can we push for the capture of Sebastian Rex, Heppy? We have £18 million to spend, and I'm going to go straight in at £18 million. And thankfully, the transfer offer has been accepted straight away. £18 million for Sebastian Rex Epi. He's going to come into the squad on a £25,000 a week contract for five years and a squad role of squad rotation player. Contract offer accepted. Rex Epi has finally joined the club. And we've got a transfer offer with one hour to go. It's Ben James. And Barnsley have offered way over the valuation of the player. It's very easy for me, that. That's an accept. But the deal didn't get through in time. Ah, oh, I've lost a few hundred thousand on Ben James there. Shock horror. The 4-2-4 is no more. It's a Capital One Cup tie. And I've tried to fit as many young players in as I possibly can. Which means going to a three-man midfield against Sunderland. Now, usually, I would play the substitute keeper for matches like this, but Jonsson needs faith in his ability again. He is a key man in defending our title. Oh, Jonsson, stop being rocky, man. Corner kick for Burton Albion. It will be taken by Ibar's Nukin and nearly headed home. Here's Diaz, who scored against Sunderland at the start of the season. Ben Illusan, me. Oh, that is a cracking effort. With so much pressure on him, he nearly went in. Here's Bartley. He's done very well. And the cross to Rex Heppi. That's a fantastic save to stop him from scoring on his debut. Wallace and Mulman comes on for his debut. And William Johansson is in to shore up that defence. A clean sheet is just as important as the win tonight. Looks like this one's going into extra time. And indeed, we are going for an extra 30 minutes here. Oh, fantastic touch by an arson then. 
Without it, there would have been a shot on goal from about seven yards out. Of course, Ben Ilasarmi again. It was a good first touch. He takes the shot, and that is a goal for Ben Ilasarmi and Burton Albion. This guy really does look like a diamond in the rough. Of course, Ben Ilasarmi again. He's creating nightmares on this left hand side. Oh, it's, that, that's a penalty! How is that not a penalty, ref? No. No! Oh, fuck! I just knew it was going to happen after the penalty decision was turned down. Sunderland strike back, and if it stays like this, it will be penalties. Here we go. It is going to get decided from 12 yards out in the penalty shootout. Nico Lopez against Johnson. He's missed it. Get in. That's a good start, isn't it? Sebastian Rex Epi for Burton Albion. Goal. Will Buckley for Sunderland. He basically has to score this and does. He goes down the middle. Jonsson couldn't put his foot on the ball. Jodic Partley goes the same way as Rex Epi. Lee Catamol against Matthias Jonsson. Who's going to win this? It is Lee Catamol going the opposite way. Wallison Molman. Come on, lad. Yes! Well done. Agro. Oh, was that a save or was that just a bad miss? I think it was a bad miss. Anyway, Diaz to win it for Burton Albion. I would have liked Jonsson to save one, but it hasn't come to that. Burton Albion win in the penalty shootout. That's it from me for this episode. Next one is a Swedish special against Poland and Northern Ireland in the World Cup qualifiers. This has been Cutsy. Thank you for watching. If you've enjoyed this video, please give it a like, and I will see you next time.